1971, my father, Dr. Hosea Williams, and my mother, Juanita Terry Williams, they were staff members for Martin Luther King. And my father was leaving a staff meeting and happened to cross a man in the gutter begging for money. So he went and got him a fish sandwich. And the man ate the paper and the fish sandwich all at the same time. He was so hungry. So being a man of action, Hosea Feed the Hungry was born that day. My father dedicated his life to feeding the hungry. And now 36 years later, we are feeding people all across the world. We have developed year-round programs and services that help people become self-sufficient. The working poor that we serve spend more than 50% of their income on rent. We provide financial quality of life programs year-round to assist people in keeping their homes. We provide rent assistance, utility assistance, evictions and foreclosure help, down payment assistance, and temporary housing assistance. That's for payments at boarding houses and hotels. And we help take on their emergency burdens by providing legal assistance, help with unexpected medical bills, transportation assistance, and hurricane relief. We provide weekly counseling and budgeting and life skills training. We also provide referrals to GED and literacy classes. And we provide employment training and placement. Elizabeth has made this an institution. It's gone beyond just feeding the hungry. It's now housing the homeless. It's now clothing the needy, uh, providing job training programs and counseling, providing legal services for those who need it. It has expanded beyond Atlanta and it has become the model for the nation. So what started out here in Atlanta is a local effort to assist the poor here. It grew into a global initiative. We supply tremendous relief throughout the international community. We provide food and medicine and clothing. Hosea Feed the Hungry has opened and funds an elementary to high school for impoverished children in the Philippines. It's truly amazing to visit the Balan tribe in the Amgao Mountain and watch the children progress while achieving an education. Last year, four of our children that graduated received full college scholarships. We depend on our corporate sponsors because we can't do this alone. Our corporate sponsors take pride in the fact that they help feed 50,000 people or that they just help Edie, who was living in a car with her kids, get a job in an apartment. I think uh, corporate America has a tremendous responsibility. We must meet basic human needs. Corporate America, corporate Atlanta, to do much more. It's a win-win when you partner with Jose Feed the Hungry because you get such a great return on your investment. We touch a diverse population. The elderly, children, youth, single parent families. We touch people from all walks of life. And we have been providing services within this community for 36 years. Plus, while helping the needy, we provide our corporate sponsors with lots of media exposure. We help them fulfill their community service objectives and they get a tax deduction. We feed over 50,000 people a year at our holiday dinner events on Thanksgiving, Christmas, Martin Luther King's birthday and Easter Sunday. Not only do they get fresh hot food, but we have a medical clinic, barbers and beauticians, hot showers, toys and books distribution to over 500 children that we bus into the event. And all of this is to help people get back on their feet. We also have a year-round food bank that delivers nutritious food boxes that last several weeks to senior citizens and underprivileged families all across Metro Atlanta. We feed people all across the state of Georgia. Hosea started out uh, uh, doing this just for some homeless people that he saw and touched his heart. And from there, it's grown to be the uh, largest sit-down dinner in the United States is actually what the title of it is. If you ever have a chance to participate in this event, any of these events, it will change your life. Jose Feed the Hungry is not just the one dinner that you see on TV. It's 24-7, 365 days a year and plus. Preventing homelessness by making sure that people don't hit the street. This is what Jose's Feet the Hungry has really evolved into as an organization, has really become its major program. There's an ongoing need, there's an ongoing mission 
for Jose Fee to hunger. This wonderful effort is not just feeding people who need food for their stomach, but it's also feeding their minds, clothing their bags, helping them find housing. Our strategic plan for the future includes providing affordable housing and acquiring a building so that we can expand the services of the Feed the Hungry Care Center to provide our clients with the tools and social services they need to succeed.